Hi, I'm Mrs. Osmond, and this is Mr. Harvey, and, <laughs> and we're two of your on-level chemistry teachers at Walton. We're going to talk today about um, what this is and what we do with it. Okay, this is our lab table, but we need to know what's in the lab table and what kind of equipment do we have here. So, what do we got that's metal in here? Ah, metal. Great question. Okay, we keep all the metal items in the cabinet. Each side of the bench has its own cabinet and we have some pretty nifty things in here. Wait a minute, Ms. Osmond, are you trying to tell me that I'm not supposed to ask you every single lab where the metal stuff is? Am I supposed to know that all the metal stuff is in there and what kind of stuff is in there? Yes, you are, Mr. Harvey. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so we have the wire gauze that we use when we use our Get it here. We use our iron ring. We set the wire gauze on our iron ring to hold a beaker to heat it over a Bunsen burner. So, see, I don't just take a beaker and stick it right through the middle of here like this. No. Looks pretty dangerous. To yeah. Me. All right. So. It's a good way to break something. So and basically, you... most of this stuff has some sort of safety factor to it, huh? Yeah, it's to protect you when you're doing laboratory experiments. And who's responsible for safety? Everybody's responsible for safety. Right. You are, I am, every student. Next we have a Bunsen burner striker. This striker generates a spark. And for some reason, a lot of people have a hard time using this. You want to take this and don't just move it back and forth, you want to twist it. See? Back and forth, not much twist, lots of sparks. Lots of sparks, light it up. So if you're doing this 20 times and nothing's happening, you're doing it wrong. So twist it. Okay, Mr. Harvey, now we know not to play with the strikers. Don't because play with it because you wear that little flint out right there. See that? It gets worn out, and then you can strike it all day long, and it's not going to produce anything. See, this one has worn out, so mm -hmm. we're going to have to replace this. But the other thing I noticed is we have two strikers in this container, we're and we're not supposed to. So somebody put the striker back in the wrong cabinet. So every time you use your equipment, you need to be sure and put it back in the place where you found it. Okay. Let's see. Next, we have a test tube holder, and we just press on it, and it opens up, and we put the test tube in. We we'll grab a test tube, and then we release it and it holds the test tube for us. We can use this when we're heating over a Bunsen burner. Mm -hmm. Most of the stuff in this cabinet allows us to handle hot instruments without burning ourselves, and when it's something relatively large, so we're never gonna ask you to handle hot glassware with your hands, see? And this bad boy is called hot hands, see? So you pick up something relatively large with it. It's a nice hot pad. This is a set of beaker tongs, it's got some black rubber here. You use these to pick up hot beakers. Say if you were using this glass beaker here and you wanted to take it off the burner, you would put those there and then you could move glassware with them. One of the nice things about these lab benches is these are called epoxy countertops and they can take very, very, very high temperatures. So you can put hot glassware and hot metalware on them at any time. Notice what I'm doing. If you're not using something, if you're not in the process of using it for a lab, it shouldn't be out on the counter. Okay? So when we do labs, you don't just take everything out and scatter it all over the place. You find out what we're going to use, you take it out, and then you make sure you put your stuff back in the drawer that you were assigned. Or the cabinet. This is called a scopula. We use this for weighing out chemicals massing out chemicals, excuse me. You just reach into the container, take some out, and put it on the electronic balance. And what else do we have, Mr. Harvey? Ah, the test tube brush. Test tube brush, test tube brush for cleaning our test tubes. Uh, our other tongs, these are called crucible tongs. And they're made for uh, handling hot crucibles, which is something uh, that we'll demonstrate when we um, get to the point where we would be using them. We do not keep crucibles in the lab bench. Okay, now everything looks like it's made out of metal here. That is correct. Where's all the glass stuff? 
Okay. Let's put this away. Oh, you know, the other thing we forgot, though, Mr. Harvey, before we do glass, oh, yeah. is we keep a plastic test tube rack down here because it won't fit in the drawer. And also, this is where you'll find your Bunsen burner and hose. All right. So all of that is in the cabinet.